We're gonna teach your dog three fun tricks today. Weave through your legs, crawl, and say goodbye. It's the hottest day of the year. I was going to video the third part of our series, how to stop leash pulling. So please go to the link above and also the description to see the first two parts of our series. But today, we're gonna have some fun with our dogs inside teaching them tricks. My dogs have already had their tongs, the roller treat ball, the snuffle mat, and the brick. And they're bored. These are tricks that I've never taught Nikki, and I thought these were the ones that I would show you today. When you're teaching a dog to weave through your legs, of course you need good treats, we're using cheese. And we need cheese in both hands. So the key is with your dog behind you, on the left, then of course it's your right leg that goes forward. When she's on your right, it's your left leg that goes forward. And you're just going to go back and forth. You're gonna draw your dog through, yes. And if you're clicking, that's fine. And we're gonna take a treat and we're gonna draw your dog through. She's following your hand, you're luring her. Now she's behind you. If she's on your left, you wanna make sure that you have the treat in your right hand. If you have your dog on the left, your right foot that's going forward. Because if you don't, you're more liable to kick your dog as you move your leg. As she learns how to do this, you'll be able to ask for more than one step. So maybe I feed her here, and I'm gonna lead her through, but I'm not gonna feed her. As time goes on, you'll be able to feed less and less, and she will be able to walk three or four steps without being fed. Finally, you'll be able to walk normally and your dog will walk right between your legs as you walk. Now, if you have a really big dog, like a Labrador or an Irish Wolfhound or a big Greyhound, it's kind of hard. But I did see one woman in one of my classes years ago, about eight months pregnant, and she had a big Greyhound. And I said to her, maybe you want to sit out this one. She said, nope, she wasn't. You know, she did the best weaving of anybody in the class. So anybody can do it. She was great. And the dog just literally ducked a little bit and went right through. It was great to see. Most of your dogs already know how to lie down and roll over and give paw and all those. We're going to teach her to crawl. She's already lying down. I'm going to use the clicker just in the beginning to reward her for lying down. We're gonna turn her around because we need her to crawl towards you. And I'm gonna have her lie down on the mat, all the way down. Well, she likes to do a play bow, so. Sit, good girl, down, good girl. I'm gonna reward the down. When you teach a crawl, you teach it just an inch at a time. So as she crawls, you click or you say yes. She crawls a bit more and you click and you say yes. You don't wanna to go too far. She's just licking my cheese. That's all. If she gets up, we start over again. Now we're gonna see if we can get her to crawl this way so you can see a little better. So we're gonna get her down. Good girl. We're just gonna click for the least little bit of crawling, okay? Now, if I move my hand too quickly, she gets up. We need to make sure that Nikki is crawling just an inch by inch. A few years ago, we were in my, one of my advanced classes. We had crawling games, and our dogs were crawling from one point to another point. Just something fun to do with your dogs. Good girl. And I'm just gonna click for the least little bit of movement as long as she keeps her rear down and her front crawling. Good girl. Good job. Good job. Good job. Nikki knows how to do paw, but she's never done say goodbye. I take a treat while she's sitting. Good girl. 
we're going to touch it right below her chest. And when she raises her paw and touches my hand, I'm going to click. So that's how I teach a dog to shake hands. Do it a little bit. Good girl. Every time she raises her paw, I am going to click. Nikki says, Best way to get the treat is to tap my hand with her paw. Now, I'm sure some of you people have already taught paw. How do you teach say goodbye? You take your hand just a little further away so that she can't quite touch your hand and she ends up waving her paw in the air. Good. And she just barely touched it this time and we'll keep going until she's waving in the air. And the more she waves it in the air, the more I will reward her. Okay, good girl. I hope you've enjoyed seeing Nikki learn how to weave through my legs, crawl, and say goodbye. Remember to go to my playlist and you can see the playlist, how to stop leash pulling. Also to the video, toys for dogs to play with inside, fun and how to keep busy. That's a great one for warm weather as well. Please remember to subscribe to our channel and to ring that little bell. What is your dog's favorite trick? Please leave it in the comments below. Thank you from Diamond Dog Training, from Joyce and from Nikki, and thank you to the many people who have liked the page. Bye from Joyce and Nikki. Bye-bye. <laughs>